Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today is January 6th. Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to Samsung One UI 7.0 beta with Android 15 and this is beta 3. Now in some countries, this will also possibly be beta 2, but here in the United States, it is beta 3. It ends with ZXLJ. There's new features, so you added the option to switch left and right to open the quick panel. So what they mean by that is that currently, if you swipe on the left-hand side, this is your notifications panel. Towards the middle, it's also the notifications panel, but on the right-hand side, this is your quick settings. So if you're one of those people who are right-handed and you like swiping on the right-hand side to see your notifications, you're actually now able to switch it over to the left-hand side. The other new feature is they added in a four by one widget. So I don't know what that means. Maybe that means that there is more widgets out there that you can go down to a four by one. Because when I went through the widgets, that was here currently pretty much took a look at almost everything and there was only two four by one widgets one of them was inside of clock which was right here almost any other time that you made your widget go to a four by something it always went to a four by two instead of a four by one so right inside a clock there was actually some of those that are four by one but you know if you take a look at pretty much almost anything else anytime that you tried to put it over from the two by one it would always go to a four by two instead of that four by one. So we'll see what they mean by that. And we'll take a look at that after this update. The other widget that I was able to find that was a four by one was inside of weather. So currently before this update, the clock and weather was able to go into a four by one. And then for the bugs and other things that have been fixed, they're able to improve the vertical scroll inconvenience in app drawer alignment. I don't really see where there's too much of an alignment issue unless if there's other people out there that had a problem, unless if when you're actually looking at all your applications on the right hand side where you're simply able to scroll through the alphabet, maybe they moved this alphabet line over a little bit so it wasn't overlapping uh, the names of some applications. Also, there's a lot here for Game Booster. So Game Booster, change screen, playback, default setting, Game Booster, change frame per second, setting name and max value, Game Booster, default scanning rate, 120 hertz settings. For Samsung messages, modify exception when saving MMS image. Quick, uh, let's see, so, uh, the improved quick panel closing operation. So when you close the quick panel, sometimes I guess it could be a little slow. I guess they, they improve the operation of closing the quick panel. Modify that the now bar is not displayed on a specific path. So maybe the now bar wasn't showing up correctly for someone somewhere, either on always on display or lock screen. So it has been fixed. Also fix lock screen, always on display, status bar, battery icon, the notification icon alignment error. Pretty much what was happening was what up over here between your always on display and lock screen, the battery icon would actually shift just slightly. Uh, even though the always on display and lock screen were showing different information on the screen, so things can kind of move and fill in space anyways, and also would help from screen burn. But anyways, looks as if that this is fixed. So for those who wanted the battery icon to be the, in the exact same location without any type of a shift between always on display uh, and the lock screen and also the normal status bar, your battery icon will not move or shift. Also fixed errors relating to lock screen editing. Also they fixed the lock screen shortcut icon to disappear. Fixed volume key operation error when using routine plus. Uh, edge panel, tools not displayed, modified. So pretty much I will get this thing updated, hit resume download, and then once this is all done and over, we'll take a look at our, you know pretty much everything that they're talking about. We'll take a look at to, you know, to see if there's any other newer widgets. We'll also take a look to see uh, some of the other newer features like switching left and right of some of the, the quick panels and such. And also we'll take a look because down over here it says the January 1st security patch. So we'll see some information for January 1st because today is January 6th. The size of this update here is 1,000. 272 megabytes and we'll also take a look at not only the samsung security page but we'll also take a look at some of the samsung applications and services to see what other applications are also involved in this update now if the update is done and complete one of the first things i want to take a look at was up over here for the notifications panel if you swiped it from the top left hand side or even the middle you know even if you're just right here it'll pull down the notifications you'd have to go from the top right hand side to bring down the quick settings uh, but also you can remember that you are able to just swipe between the two screens so if you pull down your quick settings here this is where you're able to swipe over to your notifications so i'm going to go over see what it looks like to see if they added in one of the settings to make it to where you can actually flip flop them so you go inside of your panel settings 
And once you're inside the panel settings, this is where you had the original options here for separate or together. And here's the option for a quick panel on left side. So with that change in place, now if you swipe down on the right side, here's your notifications. Even if you do swipe down from the middle, notifications. And then on the top left-hand side, it's where you have your quick settings. But just remember, you can always go back just by a simple swipe. So even if you pull down your notifications, you swipe over, there's your quick settings. You can swipe back. So yeah, it's pretty nice. You can go back and forth. So I will state though, for someone that is right-handed, I do like the fact that now it's going to be, you know, the notifications. Because sometimes I just want to take a look at my notifications rather than the quick settings. Uh, but again, at any point in time, just swipe over left and right to do that. So it's pretty nice that they give you the option to switch it from left or right-hand side whatever side you want it to be, then that is the side that will be either your notifications or the quick settings. And now that I've been swiping down on this battery a few times, I've also noticed that it also gotten fatter. So it's a little bit more juicier, a little bit more thick of a battery icon on the top right hand side. Originally, it was kind of more of like this shape here. It was slightly smaller. I think even the numbers could have possibly been smaller too. Uh, so it was more of kind of like this like four by one circular shape, kind of like the now bar that we had. And so it looks as if along with the fix of the shifting of the battery icon, looks as if they made it a little bit more thick. And really when it comes down to the shift of the battery icon, even though I'm on the lock screen and we go into the, you know, the status bar, the battery doesn't shift anymore. The biggest area where you were able to see the shift was if you were using always on display. So if I tap on the screen here, when you go from the always on display to the lock screen, that was where you saw the shift of the battery. And so now if we take a look at it here, here is the always on display. And then we go to the lock screen, no shift. Now the next thing that I want to take a look at was four by one widget. I'm going to see if there was any of these that was added in. I've gone through quite a few, if not all of these before the update to see, you know, what had a four by one just to kind of see since I was getting ready for the update. So it looks like battery, they added one in there because beforehand there was two of them sitting in here. And I believe there was only three sitting in here, which was the two by one and the two by four. And now here is that four by one which was what I was actually waiting for. So if you actually take a look at my, my screen up here, I had mine set up like this because they didn't have a four by one. So now that they actually have the four by one, that's probably the one that I would be going over and using. So I don't remember or ever seeing a four by one sitting there. So it looks as if they added in for battery. Uh, for the calendar, don't really know if they would need a four by one there. So let's see here. Looks as if I don't see one sitting there for clock. Clock was the one that we saw from beforehand that actually did have a four by one. So it was clock and weather that had the four by one. Uh, contacts, looks like a four by one here as well. That was not there from before. I know for a fact because I definitely looked at that one. Uh, device care, for a fact, they did not have a four by one there because I know I also looked there. Digital well being, they have the four by one. So there we go. It looks as if they are adding in four by ones. And the, and, the the widgets that I'm really kind of looking at here are mostly like the Samsung widgets, just because I know that they would probably work more alongside those more than some of the other third party applications. Uh, let's see for internet, looks like a four by one there as well. Wasn't there from before either. So again, really when you go through a lot of these these here, um, especially the Samsung widgets, they did add in the four by one option. This four by one was already there from before. So remember, before the update, only two widget options had a four by one, which was clock and weather. Now pretty much almost every Samsung application that's on here now has a four by one option. And then one more thing I wanna take a look at, they mentioned something about the application tray. And so this was talking about the alignment of application tray. And the only thing I could think of at that point when I was reading it was this little bar on the right hand side. So this is the scrolling bar that you can actually just go through everything for alphabetical. So if you wanna find something super quick, you're able to use this bar to kind of swipe through and scan through all of your applications. And before this update, this bar was over lapping these application icons. So right now, as you can see, there is no application icon being interfered or overlapped when it comes down to this bar or the slider. So looks as if they have also fixed this in terms of alignment. Now nothing is being covered up in the application tray. I also want to take a look at the panel over here because they mentioned something about tools. So uh, before the update, because I was kind of reading what was going on, I did notice that tools was not involved. So tools is now a part of the edge panels now. So instead of you just having a reminder, voice changer, weather, people, tasks, clipboard and apps, you now have all of those along with the tools panel, which should have been there to begin with anyway. So tools panel is now back. Now to take a look at versions of applications and services from Samsung. So I always take a look at this every single update. So for this one, before the update, Samsung, oh, wait a second. 
So normally this area that you see right here was below this section. So beforehand, it always talked about your home screen layout, the grid, the grid, you know, the grid. All of this was towards the top. For Samsung One UI 7, you had these options here, which was for app size, application um, labels, widget labels. These were inside of its own little thing. Like it used to be where you would open something up to actually find these settings. So what they did was they took away an area right here where these settings were sitting and then they just placed it right here. So there's nothing to open up extra um, to get into these settings here, which makes sense. It's home screen settings. Uh, but again, it was just new for Samsung One UI 7. What I went to take a look at was this, which was the version of Samsung One UI Home. Before the update, it was 16.0.0.0.203. This is now 16.0.0.3.21. So obviously a newer version of Samsung Home because we have newer updated widgets from the four by one. And then also to that change of that home screen settings page there where you were able to see settings right there on the menu rather than going inside of a sub menu. When it comes down to the camera, the version before this update was sitting at 15.0.0.1.6.5. This one is now 15.0.0.2.5. So this one is a new version of Samsung camera, which I'll play with it later on and see if there's a reason to speak about any of the changes other than just a new version. Now, next up for fun, how about we take a look at secure folder just to see if there was anything new or changed or added with secure folder. So before the update, it was 193045. This is now 1940.6. So new version of the secure folder. Now we'll take a look at Samsung Gallery. So for the gallery before the update, the version was 15.6.0.0.4.9, 15.6.0.0.6.1. So there is a new version of Samsung Gallery. And then also too, I know that they mentioned something about messages in, in the update. So we'll take a look at Samsung messages to see if there's a newer version. Now before the update, it was sitting at 16.0.1.0.1. This is now 16.0.1.0.13. So there is a new version of Samsung messages as well, which would give you some other option for saving an image through MMS. Now, how about we go also inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store, just because if you remember, anytime you do a phone update, go inside of here to see what is sitting there. So it looks like there is a few of them sitting inside of here. I just updated uh, all of my applications just the other day. So Samsung Pass, the framework, also autofill with Samsung Pass. So a lot of Samsung Pass updates have just been um, updated here. So make sure to take a look at the Galaxy Store after a monthly update. So now to take a look at the Samsung mobile security page, you can see here we are January 1st, 2025. We'll take a look to see if there's anything listed here. Uh, so normally anytime that there's an update, uh, Samsung always has a bunch of stuff that they're working with Google on the back end of everything. And it looks as if right now the last thing that was listed was December 2024. So there is nothing to speak to the year of 2025 just yet. So it looks as if we are just a little bit too early to see what was happening on the back end of things for vulnerabilities and fixes from the Samsung and Google side of things. Other than that, pretty much when it comes down to the Samsung One UI 7.0 beta, we take a look inside of the Samsung members application. Uh, this is where it's able to kind of list everything out for us. We have the little announcements up over here. You know, the first update we ever got was December 5th and then it was December 16th and then January 6th. So pretty much on average, you should see an update every two weeks unless if there's a big bug issue that they have to do, then they'll push off a small little fix. But for anybody who was thinking that there would be another update, you know, before the end of the year, maybe it could have been around the 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, something like that. But there's a lot of holidays going on and such. So it might as well you just wait until the beginning of January, which this right here just makes a lot of sense. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. Pretty much this uh, this update here is kind of going the way that it should. Pretty much every single two weeks, we'll probably have a new update. We took a look at pretty much everything that was new for this update that really kind of made a little bit of sense and that would be causing some headaches and some issues. So everything has been fixed. A few things have been added. A few things have been changed. So hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.